So, good morning sa mga estudyante ko na electrical at ECE. So, dito tayo sa day one. Ang objective natin, objective natin sa day one is to, number one, identify if the differential equation is ordinary or partial differential equation. Sa so number two naman, student is to determine the order and degree of differential equation. And number three, is to determine the types of solution in differential equation. So yan, sa day one, matututunan nyo yung mga yan. So, differential equation. Meron, meron siyang two types yung ordinary differential equation and partial differential equation. So, ano nga ba yung differential equation? Differential equation contains one or more terms involving derivatives. So, sa, sa differential equation, meron siya mga derivatives. So, example, dy over dx, dc over dx, and dt over dx. So, yan. Pag, pag mayroong derivative, differential equation yan. So, yun. So, meron siyang, yung differential equation, meron siyang two types, yung ordinary and partial. So, so ano nga ba yung ordinary differential equation? Ordinary differential equation for ODE Equation containing only one Independent variable Having only one derivatives in the equation So meaning, meron siyang X or Y X is the independent variable and Y is the dependent variable and mer at meron din siya ng dy over dx so yan, tandaan nyo yan so yung sa partial differential equation naman contains two or more independent variable so example yung y Y, Z, or marami pang iba, depende sa equation. At sa katatandaan nyo, meron siya itong symbol na to. Yan ang symbol ng differential equation. So ngayon, i-discuss natin kung ano yung graph ng different, differential equation ko. Meron siyang linear and non-linear. So, ito yung guidelines. Para masabi mong non-linear ang isang differential equation. So, y, y and y prime is in multiplication. So, itong y prime na to equals din yan sa dy over dx equals din yan. So, now, ang rule number 2 is yung y times y or y squared. So, pag may y raised to uh, power, non-linear siya. Ganun din sa derivatives. Kung naka-raise din siya sa exponent, non-linear. So, yung rule number 3, if y is a part of a function, so, example, e raised to y, e raised to x plus y, or sin y, or yung y may kitabing function. So, 
Paano siya handling niya? So ngayon naman, so tingnan natin to. So dit Nagbigay ako ng example. So i-determine natin siya kung anong type siya ng differential equation. So meron tayong two types yung yung ordinary differential equation saka partial differential equation. So so example number one quantity x squared plus 1 dx minus xy dy so so ordinary differential equation siya kasi wala siyang symbol ng partial differential equation so number 2 uh, ah yung graph niya is nonlinear so rule number 1 y and y Nandiyan niya siya dahil dyan. So number 2, quantity x plus x squared plus y dy is equals to quantity 2x plus xy squared dx. So ordinary differential equation lang yan. So yung graph niya is nandiyan non-linear rule 2 at dahil hindi ka pala to end one dito to end one so number three quantity x minus one times y prime ay y double prime plus x plus y prime plus y is equals to 0 so ordinary differential equation so ito number 3 is non-linear kasi wala sya wala sya dito sa qualification ng non-linear so number 4 partial derivative of x over partial derivative of y is equals to uh, minus 2y partial derivative of x partial derivative over partial derivative of z is equals to 3 so partial differential equation sa dahil dito sa mga symbol na yan. 